This report, I've kind of stylized capacity issues, um, and it's designed to kind of just show us what we're working with. So what we've got here is I kind of skimmed over the fact that there's all of these categories here in our resources, and I just used the reports ones. And I will say that nine times out of 10, when I create a report myself, I use these two resources. Um, but there are a lot of other options. So I wanna show you a couple of the other options that we have here and what you wanna do. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna search resources and I'm gonna look for capacity because I bet there's some pre-built things that are used for that. So what you can see is here, this is a bunch of stuff we have already, already pre-built resources. You've probably seen resources that look exactly like these when we look at our preview of our report on your node details or your interface details um, or you know any of those pages are gonna have something like this on them. You can see already we've got um, node capacity forecast that's gonna be on your node details page. You've got interface utilization forecasting also on your interface details page. So you can use those resources also in your reports. So we are going to use uh, top 10 capacity problems. We're gonna use top XX and we're gonna make it 10 because I don't want more than 10. That seems like too many. Um, so this time it didn't automatically take us into um, the edit resource you'll notice because it's pre-built, but I wanna go in there so you can see if there's options and what those options are. So these pre-built ones, so we can say, oh, I don't, I don't wanna see all of these metrics. Uh, I wanna see you know, CPU and, and memory and disk, but I don't need to see interface information or vice versa or anything like that. You can also filter it. So if you wanna show specific, um, specific interfaces or specific nodes, or if you wanna filter by custom properties, you can do that as well um, in your filter and examples if you've ever there. Sorry, if you've ever edited any of the resources that are on the summary screens, that show filter example should be familiar. And if you haven't, that's where that's where you'll also see it. But these are yes. simple filtering things that actually have a lot of power built into them. Um, you have to play around with it a little bit, uh, but there's some really cool effects that you can get just out of those simple filters. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's many pre-built resources. I really would give you the recommendation to take a little bit of time to see what pre-built resources you can build into a report. Once again, I am not a fan of reinventing the wheel. So if it's already been created and I don't need to go through all the hard work of recreating it and figure out how those database tables are tied together so I can pull the data together, I'm not gonna. Also, they're usually, the pre-built ones are usually very pretty and you may not get something as good looking out of a custom resource because it's not gonna do all that formatting that SolarWinds has already done for you. Um, so I just renamed it, it was called Top XX. It's doing 10 events. I can change that number if I like, but I'm not going to. Uh, and I take out the XX and I'm gonna change it to 10 so that we know exactly what we're doing. And I'm gonna submit that. Now I also want to add, I also want to add another type of resource that I didn't go over. So here you have these page formatting. And in here, you can add blank spaces to your report. Now, why would you want to do that? So I can think of a couple of reasons why you would want to add blank spaces. If you wanna break up the data a little bit so it doesn't all run together, let's say you put two custom tables right one on top of another on top of another. Well, that data might seem like it's gonna run together really easily. So it might make sense to add a blank space to kind of give yourself a visual differentiation between those two resources. Um, so we can add a blank space. Um, I'm gonna add a short blank space here, and then I'm gonna add another resource. But because I already showed you how to do the custom table resource, I'm not gonna show you how to do this one. But what we're gonna do is we would add here another resource and add a custom table resource to it, and we're gonna get some more information on those interfaces. Now you can also change your page layout here. There's lots of options for formatting because we want pretty good looking reports. And of course, we would rename everything, give ourselves a subtitle if we need it, go through and create a schedule if we need it, and then we would see our summary. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the finished report. And this is our capacity issues report. Now you can see this resource that they've built, gorgeous. It's got coloring, it's got links already pre-made, it's got a lot of information there that maybe we didn't, that we didn't need or we weren't gonna be able to pull very easily. It would take a lot more work for me to go create this by myself rather than just adding it to the page. And then we've got our blank space so we can differentiate between the two resources. And we've got another report here. So I added a custom table for dis over 95% utilized. So I wanted to care about this capacity problem that I was having. And we also have links to those individual details pages. Mm -hmm.